Shalom. Our Torah portion for this week is Ki Tavo, and it opens with a commandment to our ancestors, the ancient Israelites, to carry out after they had arrived in the land of Israel, after they had dwelt there for more approximately a year. Let's take a look at what it says in the Torah itself. The Haya ki tavo el haaretz asher Adonai Elohecha noten lacha nachala verishta veyeshavta ba valakachta mereshit kol pri haadama asher tavi miartacha asher Adonai Elohecha noten lach vesamta mevatena vhalachta el makom asher yivchar Adonai Elohecha le shaken shamosh sham uvata el kohen asher hiye bayamim hahem va amata i love he got it the hayom la donai lo hecha ki vati el haaretz asher nishba adonai la votenu la tet lanu When you enter the land that the Eternal, your God, is giving you as a heritage, and you possess it and settle in it, you shall take some of, the, of every first fruit of the soil uh, which you harvest from the land that the Eternal, your God, is giving you. Put it in a basket and go to the place where the Eternal, your God, will choose to establish the Divine Name. You shall go to the priest in charge at that time and say to him, I acknowledge this day before the Eternal, your God, that I have entered the land that the Eternal swore to our fathers to assign us. The priest shall take the basket from your hand and set it down in front of the altar of the Eternal, your God. You shall then recite as follows before the Eternal, your God. My father was a fugitive Aramean. He went down to Egypt with meager numbers and sojourned there. But there he became a great and very populous nation. The Egyptians dealt harshly with us and oppressed us. They imposed heavy labor upon us. We cried to the Eternal, the God of our ancestors, and the Eternal heard our plea and saw our plight, our misery, and our oppression. The Eternal freed us from Egypt by a mighty hand, by an outstretched arm, an awesome power, and by signs and portents, bringing us to this place and giving us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Wherefore, I now bring the first fruits of the soil which you, Eternal One, have given me. You shall leave it before the Eternal, your God, and bow low before the Eternal, your God, and you shall enjoy together with the family of the Levite and the stranger in your midst all the bounty that the Eternal, your God, has bestowed upon you and your household. This passage, simply put, is about gratitude specifically about gratitude in times of prosperity. It's human nature to recognize what we lack. It's human nature to complain about not having those things that we need and we want. It's also human nature to forget the hard times. It's human nature uh, to begin to take for granted blessings that we enjoy during times of prosperity. Maimonides, uh, the great uh, medieval commentator on, uh, on the Torah and uh, the great uh, philosopher, uh, in his work, The Guide to the Perplexed, comments on uh, Kitavo, and he says, uh, that the lack of gratitude leads to conceit, it leads to vanity, and the quality that we should be instilling in ourselves and in our children 
is the quality of humility and gratitude and generosity also says is uh, important and that, speci that specifically is the goal of this ritual to instill in us a sense of remembrance of hard times. We all go through hard times, but hard times come and go. And after we have passed through a difficult situation, after we have spent our 40 years or whatever in the wilderness and we come to a, a land that is flowing with milk and honey, after we achieve a certain measure of comfort and security, that we are not to forget the tough times and how God was with us during those tough times. And what are we told to do? We're told to share, to share our, our uh, bounty with the, um, with the priest and with the community, with our own families and with the stranger, the non-Jew who happens to live in our community. And it goes on to say that you shall enjoy, you shall enjoy your prosperity. When you, uh, uh, which leads me to believe that when we are prosperous, when we have uh, our basic needs met, when we are generous and grateful, we begin to truly enjoy God's gifts. Well, I hope that you will read this week's Torah portion and come to your own conclusions. In the meantime, Shabbat Shalom.